Today we're going to walk you through setting up your new FireNet account. So to start, most of you will probably get a message from notifications at Better Cloud. This is a bulk uploading where we create a lot of accounts at once. So the message will say welcome to Google Apps and it has two things in it. It has your name of your account here and it has your password. Please ignore the launch better cloud green button. That's just the service and system we use to create your accounts. And you're going to follow the links that says firenet.gov. You're going to follow one of these places to go ahead and sign in. So ignore the green button and just click one of the links. If you don't, um, if you've written down your password and login and you don't, you don't have this open, you can also just go to firenet.gov. So just to kind of give you a lot of different options. So on firenet.gov, we have a login link, FireNet login. So this brings you basically to the myaccount.google.com page. So if you already have an account, you can just um, hover over your little letter in the right and you can click add account. So you can use one of the links we've provided, you can use our website, or you can just add a, an account. Lots of options. So if you do have a default account, so if you have a Bison Connect account, BLM, or a Gmail account, we actually recommend signing out of all of your accounts and just signing into your FireNet account. So when you add an account, so say I had signed out of all my accounts and I want to add an account, just a reminder that it's most often it's your first name underscore last name if it's an individual account at firenet.gov. So firenet.gov is included in, um, in the, the login information and I would click next here and then put in the password that I was given. I don't want to do that because I'm already logged in so I'm just gonna go back. And I'm actually gonna come up here and I'm gonna select the account that I'm gonna go ahead and get set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's use this account here. So if you were just logging in for the first time, you could add your ad account uh, and then you would go ahead, add the full email address that was given to you in your welcome email and the password. So once you update the password information, you may see a screen that looks like this. This is not two-step verification. So you can kind of ignore this or hit done and, and move on. So this does not need to be set up and it doesn't really help you too much. So just uh, go past this screen and then we'll set up two-step verification. And I'm gonna show you a few ways to do that. As you have seen in your welcome email, this email is also sent with you after that better cloud message with your login information goes out. There's a link that you can set, click on to two-step verification. Now with this link, it will bounce you back to your default account. So as I talked about, if you're still signed in to other accounts, it may pick up your BLM account or another Gmail account. That's why we recommend signing off. You can also toggle back to the account. So you'll see it jump back to that Tara underscore Taylor at FireNet when I really wanna set up the 2SV on this training account. So now it's in the training account. But to get away from using the link and giving you another option to make sure you're in the right account, if I just hover over the letter for the account that I wanna log into and I go to Google account, the blue button, it's gonna bring me to Google account. Another way that I could get there is to hit the little nine boxes and go to account. So just to double check, make sure I'm still in the account that I wanna get set up, yes. And I'm just gonna go to sign in and security once I'm on sign in and security, I'm gonna scroll down to password and sign in method and you'll see two-step verification is off. So if your two-step verification is on and you're just looking to transfer a role-based account, for example, you would also follow this method to update that number. So I wanna turn it on in this case. So I'm on the two-step verification page. Do a little check, make sure you're still in the correct account that you want to get set up to avoid any issues because if you set it up in it on your BLM or Bison Connect account, for example, there can be issues with it, your mobile syncing later on. We don't wanna set two-step verification up on those accounts. We're just setting it up for our FireNet account. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Get Started. It's gonna ask for my password again. 
I'm going to put in my password. And then I'm going to ask, it's going to ask me my cell phone number. So I'm going to put in my cell phone and then it's going to text me a code. I'm going to confirm the code that was text message to me. And then I'm going to, it's going to accept it. And then I'm going to click turn on two step and you'll get a little confirmation there. So that's how you set up two step verification. If you're looking to transfer a role based account, this is also where you would update the number for the new person that's going to take on that account. So these are some easy steps. Uh, it probably takes about 30 seconds, depending which method that you choose, but a lot of different options to get your two-step verification set up. Hope you have a great day.